Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Town of Lexington's Planning Commission meeting. Uh, this is our normal monthly meeting and is being held at 8 a.m. Wednesday morning, April 18, 2018. Uh, the meeting is being broadcast live and a recording will air several times throughout the week on the town's informational channel. I'm Keith Frost, your Planning Commission Chair, and I'll ask the other members to please introduce themselves. Good morning, I'm Frank Berry. <clears throat> Good morning, Sam Andrews. Good morning, Roscoe Kaufman. Good morning, Jeannie Michaels. Good morning, I'm Jamie Fight. Good morning, I'm John Bartlett. Good morning, I'm Brooke Poole, Town Administrator. Good morning, I'm Ron Williams, Town Council. Hi, I'm Dan Walker, Director of Parks and Sanitation. Good morning, Charlie Thomas, Building Official. This is Marie Nazar, Planning and Building. Good morning, John Hanson, Planning Director. Good morning, Randy Edwards, Director of Transportation. I'm Karen Hanna, the Assistant Municipal Clerk. All right, thank you. Uh, at this time, I'll ask Commissioner Barry if he will lead us in invocation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this gorgeous, beautiful spring day. Thank you for this time of the year. Be with those who protect our country and allow us to have our freedoms. Be with this body as we plan the future of this town, as we serve uh, all of those who ask us to serve. In your name we pray, amen. 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 Would you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> all right. At this time, we'll call the meeting to order. Uh, first item of business is approval of minutes from our March 21st, 2018 meeting. Uh, you should have a copy of those in your packet. Do we have any changes, emissions, corrections? Motion approved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Right, motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Thank you very much. First item of new business is uh, road naming for the Autumn Wood Crossing uh, plan. Autumn Wood Crossing plan development. John. Good morning. Um, Autumn Wood Crossing was recently approved as a plan development. A condition of the approval requires the driveway that's commonly referred to as Derrick Street Extension to be converted to a public <coughs> road. Land development ordinance gives the planning commission the authority to approve road names, and the developer has submitted to 911 uh, the <coughs> proposed name as being Topsider Court. My understanding is they submitted several names to 911 that were not approved, and they finally got this one. Payment of road uh, subdivision is extremely difficult. Well, I, I guess do we have someone from the developer here that can share us their what they went through with 911? Because I think we, we do have some questions as to why Derrick Street, since directly across 378 is Derrick Street, why, why Derrick Street wouldn't work. I'm James Norman with Connolly Development. We, I think we submitted a total of nine names, and all of them were denied, including Derrick Street extension. <coughs> so. Through, through just submitting one after another. Like he said, it's very difficult to get them approved. Top Sider was finally approved. So that's where we stand right now. Would, would Derrick Street not work rather than Derrick Street Extension? Denied. Denied. Did they give you a... Through nine, it's through 911. But I mean, I, I guess I'm, 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 I'm surely they give a, a rationale why they deny naming a road the same thing the street just across. Just from my experience in another county, I submitted 13 in Greenville. It's just what 911 will accept. So you, you keep on putting them in there until finally they say that one's accepted and then it's documented and that's what we go with. Okay. I just, it just seemed, seemed less confusing to have the road named the same thing from start to end. But we, we tried, believe me. I guess I, I work for the state. I understand some bureaucracy here now and then. So. <laughs> all right. Any other questions? Just to add to that, so you all know. Anytime we submit a subdivision, we have to submit up to four to six road names per road. And they don't give you a reason for denial, just disapproved or not approved. 
I don't understand how they can <laughs> tell you it has to be named <clears throat> something, but we have authority to do it. It's 911. Well, I know. Yeah. <laughs> what if we don't do it, though? What are you going to do then? I guess you they go get back. To, they get to go back to 911 and submit another few names. So. All right. Any other questions? We have a motion. A motion to recommend to rename um, the road to Topside Court. All right. Approval road name. Do we have a second? Second. All right. Thank you. Any further discussion? All right. Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. All right. Those opposed? Thank you. It's just a principle. I understand. <laughs> I got to trust me. <laughs> uh, if it, it, I, I might, I might would have, I'll be honest with you, I might would have <coughs> had, had this project not been lingering around for what seems like a year now. So, <laughs> thank you. All right. <coughs> All right. Uh, item number two is uh, annexation of property at 2503 Mineral Springs Road. John. The rest of these things shouldn't be quite as difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Fairly routine. Uh, Michael and Heather Williamson own 1.1. Acres located at 2503 Mineral Springs Road and have petitioned to annex the property. A single family home is being constructed on the site. <coughs> Properties in town near this one are zoned protected residential <coughs> and Mineral Springs Road is already classified <coughs> as a collector road. Due to the surrounding conditions and the intended use of the property, the same zoning and road classification is recommended for this parcel. All right, any questions? Do we have a motion? So move. We have a second. motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. And that is unanimous. Thank you very much. Yep. Item three is annexation of property at 308 Park Road, John. Uh, Floyd and Jacqueline Corley own 2.9 acres located at 308 Park Road and have petitioned to annex the property. A single family home is currently on the site. Properties in town near the Swinner Zone Protected Residential and Park Road is already classified as a collector road. And once again, the same zoning and road classification is recommended for this site. All right. Any questions? Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All right. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous as well. Thank you. All right, <clears throat> moving right along, uh, item number four is annexation of property at 327 Cherokee Trail, John. Chad and Michael Jones own two acres located at 327 Cherokee Trail and have petitioned to annex the property. A single home, family home is being constructed on the site. Properties in town near this one are zoned protective residential and Cherokee Trail is classified as a local road. And again, the same zoning and road classification is recommended for this property. That would be uh, three protected residentials. <coughs> All right. Yeah. Any questions? Motion to approve. Now we have a motion. We have a second. Second. All right. Roscoe, thank you. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. And that is unanimous. Thank you. All right. Item number five is annexation of property 349 Railroad Avenue, John. Huffstetler Properties, LLC, owns 2.6 acres located at 349 Railroad Avenue and has petitioned to annex the property. A small, a small mobile home park is located on the site. Properties in town near this one are zoned <coughs> protected residential, limited commercial, and general commercial. Railroad Avenue is classified as a local road. Due to the surrounding conditions and the use of the property, the recommended zoning for this parcel is limited commercial, and the recommended classification of Railroad Avenue is a local road. All right. Any questions? Do we have a motion? To recommend the limited commercial. All right. Have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Right. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Right. That is unanimous. Thank you very much. All right. I think we successfully added as many PR1 development uh, as we have in the last couple of years. And it's amazing how some people disappear when we got a meeting that's 10 minutes long. <laughs>
I didn't say that. I get in trouble again. All right, anything else for the good of the commission? Frank, do we have a traffic update? We did not meet. We meet every other month. Though. Okay. All right. See, so I've solved all the problems. Well, it's flowing well. <laughs> it's flowing well. Randy, That's a good thing. Great job back there. Good job. All right. Britt, anything from? No, sir. I just turned it over to council. Okay. Ron? Good morning. Thank you all for your service. It looks like I'm going to take longer than y'all did with all these <laughs> concerts we have going on and all the other items we've got going on in town. Uh, Lexington Live will be featuring the bombshell at the Ice House Thursday the 19th at 6.30. Pleasant Hill Middle School will be at the Ice House Amphitheater uh, April 24th at 7 p.m. Lexington Live will have finesse at the Ice House on Thursday, April 26th at 6.30. Kids Day of Lexington will be here at Town Hall, April 28th from 10 to 2. Uh, Satisfaction, the Rolling Stones Tribute Band will be at the Ice House April, uh, Saturday, April 28th at 6 p.m. Tickets are $16 in advance and can be purchased at icehouseamphitheater.com or at the Old Mill Brew Pub. Uh, the Lexington uh, Community Band will be at the Ice House Amphitheater Sunday, April 29th at 2 p.m. Um, and then there's five more for the month of May. You can see all of these on LexSC.com or the IceHouseAmphitheater.com site, or you can, uh, we'd encourage everybody to join the Ice House Amphitheater Facebook page. Um, Lexington Farmers Market will open uh, the season, May the 5th, at Lexington Square Park. The market will run each Saturday until S September 29th from 9 a.m. To, to noon. Uh, and the wine walk will be at the Ice House Amphitheater on Saturday, May the 12th at 6 p.m. Tickets are $30 in advance and can be purchased at LexingtonWineWalk.com or $40 at the door. Proceeds this year will benefit the Lexington Beautification Foundation. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, anything else? Anyone have anything else? All right, do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All right, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. All right, and we are adjourned, and I want to thank you for watching the Town Election Planning Commission in action. Uh, again, this meeting is held at 8 a.m. Wednesday, April 18th, 2018. On behalf of the Planning Commission, I wish you a good day and a good week.